So on this call, I'm going to show you how to embed ZenPlanner onto your Facebook page. This is for lead generation, member management, calendaring, basically anything that you have or can embed on your website, you will also be able to embed on your Facebook. So I need you to open up your studio, log into your account. I need you to open up another tab, go to your Facebook page. Open up another tab, and go to woobox.com, W-O-O-B-O-X.com, and we'll start from here. So first off, what we need to do is create a Woobox account. So on the Woobox page, go to sign up. It's going to sync in directly with your Facebook account. Click login. The next thing you need to do is download the plugin for Woobox at your Facebook page. So go over to the Facebook page. In the search bar at the top, type in Woobox. And it's going to be the one with the little spotlights popping up with the yellow background. Once you click on this, it will ask you to install on the page. Go ahead and click Install. So that your Woobox account will now talk to your Facebook page. And finally, let's go ahead and head over to the Woobox page to get started. You'll notice at the very top, the little Facebook symbol, it says Static Tabs. That's the one I need you to click on right now. Next on the top right is a green button to create a new tab. In the drop down, we need to choose HTML FanGate Tab. This is where we're going to head over to your studio because this is where the Woobox application is asking for the code of the widget that you want to embed onto your Facebook page. So in your database, click on Setup on the bottom left. Scroll down to the Member Connect section. And the very last option in there is Sharing and Embedding. And what you're seeing is a bunch of links. These are the pieces that you can embed on your Facebook page and your website. So if you click on one of those links, like Online Calendar, for example, you're going to notice two strings of code. The second one, the longer one, is the one that we need to embed on your pages. So that's the one you'll be copying for any of the features that you're going to be embedding onto your Facebook page. It will always be the second and the more lengthy string of code. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on Membership Registration. I'm going to copy all of the second piece of coding, pop over to the Woobox tab, and paste it in the Page Source box. Now, unless you're paying more, mobile access will be off. I want to make sure this is by default on HTML. Copy the code and leave it on the default gate type, which is off. Click Save Setting. And now we need to rename this tab. So on the left side in that dark blue menu under Edit, we can click on Tab Settings. By default, all of these are going to say Welcome, so we want to make sure to edit these so they populate correctly on your Facebook page. So let's go ahead and call this Membership Sign Up, or call it whatever you'd like. But this is how it will display on your Facebook page publicly. Once we save that change, we can go to your Facebook page. On the left side is where your menu options are, so we're going to click on Manage Tabs. If we scroll down a little bit, you're going to notice at the very bottom is where the most recent tab that you've created is populated. Now, I recommend reorganizing these and moving the Zen Planner tabs closer to the top. You notice I've already put in Schedule, Request Info, and Membership Sign Up. I think it's important to have a number of options in here. This schedule is great for your current customers and for new customers because from the schedule, if your database allows for it, people can purchase a drop-in class. They can pay for one class. They can try out a free class if you're offering it, and they can even purchase a membership by clicking into the calendar and the class they want to attend. 
if you are allowing for that. Membership sign up, obviously, if you want to allow people to purchase a membership without you lifting a finger, that is a great way to go. Requesting info is great as well. If people aren't ready quite yet to buy a membership but they want to know more information about your facility, they can request info. Again, if someone fills out that contact form on the request info side of things on your Facebook, they're going to populate right into your Zen Planner account as a new prospect. And if your automations are set up correctly, we can notify you via email immediately that you have a new prospect. Now, the third one that I like to put on here is try a free class. Now, this is a, I mean, the lowest barrier offer. You have a request info for people that just want more inf information. You have membership sign up for people that want to give it a try. But there are those people right in the middle that want to dip their toe in the water. So I'm going to go back to the WooBox tab, click on static tabs at the top again, click on create a new tab on the top right and make sure in that drop down that we choose HTML fan gate. We're going to go back to your Zen Planner database and we'll go to the free class registration. Again, the window pops up. We want to copy the second piece of coding, the longer one. Once it's copied, go back to your WooBox application, your WooBox tab and paste it in the page source. Everything is correct by default, so we can click Save Settings. And finally, we need to rename that tab. So on the dark blue menu on the left, underneath your Edit option, click on Tab Settings. Rename this tab and save that setting. Now again, go back to your Facebook page, Refresh this page so that it populates your most recent Try a Free Class tab. It will populate at the bottom. And now we're giving our members three options. Requesting info, Try a Free Class, and Membership Sign Up. Three ways to get their information into your Zen Planner database as at least a prospect, possibly a member. Give them options, get them into your Zen Planner database, and follow up with them. You can add as many or as few as you'd like. We do have some businesses that are putting as many as all of the Zen Planner widgets onto their Facebook page. The ones that I would recommend at the very least though, your calendar, request info, try a free class, purchase a membership, member login. If you are a CrossFit, the leaderboard, the workout of the day, and the daily results are all great options as well. If you need help, please feel free to give us a call at 866-541-3570.